What is going on you guys? Today's video is going to be a big sourcing trip. This past weekend my wife and I went to a couple of garage sales, an Amazon overstock store, and a few Goodwills and overall we found some really nice items. So I want to share this footage with you guys. Also I want to quickly announce the winners of the parachute and pillow giveaway that I've done a couple videos ago. The winner of the parachute is J.R. Sopko and the winner of the pillow is Lynette Walter. So if you are those people shoot me an email. But with that being said let's go ahead and get into the video. The replacements. It was actually a prop jacket. Huh. That's pretty cool. Get this stuff pulling off the rack inside the house. Sky, how much you want for your little CD? Um. Quarter. That's pretty fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to pry. I'm trying to sell stuff so that y'all are not gonna want to put them in your next yard sale. That's right. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Not a to be at five thirty. I'm just getting that. I said okay, it was cool. a quarter. Thank you. Thank you, you ma'am. Appreciate you. All right. Have a good one. It yeah. might be better if y'all go out this way. Yeah, okay. All the clothes. Stuff hanging out there. <laughs> about that. All right. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Y'all have a good weekend. You too. Your name's Harry, ain't it? Yeah. She watches your videos. Oh, the really? Time. It's nice to meet y'all. We've been, this is the third stop. Haven't bought anything yet. How much asking on the glove? How much on your glove? Two dollars. I can do two bucks on it. There right, you go. Thank, thank you. Y'all have a good one. Of course, the fourth yard sale of the day is the biggest one. I don't know why we didn't come here first. Got my IKEA bag ready. You didn't know about it. Though. Yeah, I didn't know about it. Big yard sale. Though. Look at that. What's up, guys? Bump armor, Jan Sport. Got some. Thought those might have been Legos. on you. Mm. I don't think they're that good. This look a little... Yeah, oh look, it's five. dog shoes. Like the ones you have. Just boots. Those might be good. Yeah, man. My YouTube channel is called Harry Tornado. Yeah, check it out. Uh, I don't know anything about basketball cards, but do you have basketball cards? I, I buy anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> How much are the boots? Uh, $2. I'll give you $3. How about that? <laughs> Should I pay as we go or pay at the yeah, end? It's everybody separate. Okay. This year it's the truth table, but then everybody else is separate. Got it. What is that thing? Four times. Hmm. Four track cassette tape recorder. Is this your table over here? Yes, sir. Is this y'all's? What do you want on the cord thing? You want this? All right, $10. I'll give you 10 bucks for it. I don't know how it works, but I'll take a chance. Oh, those are the cards. Yeah. Can I get him mm -hmm. I don't know anything about them. Wait, 
I honestly didn't know what I had in there. I don't know anything, man. What do you want for the whole box? Just to get it out of your way. That's you, buddy. It's not me. I'm being completely honest with you. I have no idea about any of it. I mean, I know who Blake, Gr Blake Griffin is. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that collects the cards, and you're the one that's been looking them up. Um, we're going to have to negotiate. I'm down to negotiate, man. I love negotiating. Okay. <laughs> I actually didn't have it, have the whole box <laughs> done. You didn't think somebody would come along and offer you for the whole box? No. Um, 40 bucks. Ricky Rubio. I'm looking for people that I recognize. Yeah, um, so I think Draymond Green's in there. Diana's under the combo. I'm not sure, ma'am. Um, Jay Crowder. Um, Patrick Ewing. Wow. I didn't realize you knew all You're amazing. Oh, Debt Left Shrimp. That's the guy from uh, Parks and Rec. Um, James Harden is probably in there. All right, you talk me into it, man. I'll give you, I'll give you forty bucks for it. Kylo Ren, The Rock. So yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a buck on The Rock. How about that? Sure. Okay. I'm more familiar with him than I am Power Rangers. Right. <laughs> I picked up this baseball bat for $2. It was an Easton. Not sure why I didn't have it on camera, but it should sell for like 25 bucks or so plus shipping. All right, suitcases. Oh. Weights. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Um, and then there's stuff in there on the right, um, okay. like pots and pans. And, okay. um, Sounds know. good. What are you asking on the weights over there? Uh, let me ask my brother. Okay. Just getting started here. Sure. Uh, $50 for all of it. 15 for all of it. Okay. All I'll do it. Okay. There is a lot of stuff and it's all kind of packed in here. Yeah. This is my mother's house, so we had to do it this way so we could I shut everything off last mm -hmm. night. Is there stuff in the back, too? Uh, no, I, not that I know of, unless he hasn't brought it out, but I don't think so. I okay. think this is all. This is just right here? Here and there. Yeah. Okay, got it. Here and then over here on the right inside the utility. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave you one of the small ones to keep the door prat uh, proud this open. Is so kind. Thank you, Todd. Yeah. For a pretty terrible estate sale, that was pretty good. Yeah. So I think we're pretty much done with yard sales. It's only like nine o'clock in the morning, but the only other ones I can see on Craigslist and Facebook are like 30 minutes away. So Goodwill just opened four minutes ago. So we're gonna head there. Uh, and then the Goodwill Bins opens uh, in just under an hour. So hopefully we can you know, handle this Goodwill, find some good stuff in less than an hour, and then get to the bins when they open as well. Let's keep the treasure hunt rolling today. So far so good. Hello. Here. Bronze. These look pretty good. Thirteen dollars, so. though. Mm, don't think it's worth thirteen bucks. Look at this. Look, freaking. Whoops. Oh gosh, I got too excited. I got too excited here. Check it out. I'm so excited. Are they my size? Men's 11, women's 12.5. These will probably sell for like 75, 80 bucks. Some Nike shocks. These look to be in pretty good shape. 10 bucks. Black and purple. Really, really nice. Oh, this pair of Red Wing um, Irish Setter. Irish Setter boots are a little, 
scuffed up on the toes, but you can polish these out and like sand it down or something. I've seen like Renzi use like a like a rotary tool to like get down to the next le level of leather. The bottoms are in great shape. They're not overpriced. They're just like regular boot prices, which is eight dollars and fifty cents. A little bit of wear on the heels, but Red Wings. I think these will be worth picking up. So there's the a new one, Irish Red Wing Irish Setter, $137.99, um, but they're new. So I think used in this condition, I still think I can get like, I mean, there's one, Red Wing, the same one, used, $109. So I think these will probably sell for $60 to $80 or so, I think. And for $8.50, that's definitely, definitely worth it. Y'all having fun this morning, I see. Really? That's right. Yeah. So. Have you guys been to the bin lately? No, nope, we're gonna go today as soon as they open. It's weird because oh, they they're not. They're not. Oh, they they don't open until ten now. That's right. Yeah, it's weird. You know, Saturdays is supposed to be better. And the um, what you call that store again? The um, Dream Deals. Yeah, the Amazon. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, there. That's it's good. My, my friend went Saturday. yesterday and found a, a computer hard drive for six bucks and sold it for six hundred and fifty dollars overnight. Are you serious yep. now? Wow. Shout out Rewilder Reselling. Wow. Yep. wow. <clears throat> and he said three other people found uh, Nintendo Switch gaming consoles yesterday. Those are like, you know, three hundred bucks a piece. And they sold it for. I don't know if they. I mean, I don't know if they sold it, but I know he sold the he hard sold drive. Sold it and got it sold. Yeah, overnight. For three hundred dollars. Six hundred and fifty. Six hundred and fifty dollars. How much was it initially? He, I mean, he paid six for it, six six dollars for it. Yeah, and then he turned around. Oh, I see. What, no, but what did what does it cost in the market market value? Probably six or seven hundred dollars somewhere. I mean, he sold it for basically full market value. There's like a sixteen terabyte hard drive, and it wow. holds a ton of stuff. Wow. But you guys take care, and Thank I you. know you're gonna find something there. I, I hope so. All right. Appreciate you. She's the nicest cashier in the world. So we just left that Goodwill and we were talking to the cashier about dream deals and I was like, we should probably go to dream deals. We, we should have went to dream deals today, but they opened at nine and then we checked and they actually opened at 10 on Saturday. So we're gonna, we decided to, to come here. Like I said, my friend Wyatt, uh, Rewild Reselling came here yesterday and uh, I don't know if he found it or somebody found it and like split a commission with them or something, but they found a uh, Western, Western digital hard drive for six bucks and he sold it overnight for $650. So that's kind of motivating us to get here to Dream Deals today. Hopefully we can find something like that too. Come here and see what, see what we can find. Yeah, like I said, my friend Wyatt came yesterday and he said a bunch of people were finding really good stuff. And, and then he came again today, he was in there. He was like, yeah, it just looks like they didn't really stock anything from yesterday. It's just like yesterday's leftovers. So. We were in there for, I don't know, 15 minutes, didn't find a single thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to the Goodwill Bins. Nothing against Dream Deals. Some some days are really, really good. Some days are not so good. Just kinda, you know, go with the flow. Oh, those are in good shape. Well, a little bit of a rip in the toes, but those are an interesting, like, geometric pattern. You don't want them? No, they got holes in them. We didn't find anything at all in the retail center worth buying so we're gonna go next door to the bins God, i just want to find at least one more good thing today before we wrap it up so we just left the bins it was okay uh, Haley found this pair of adidas like indoor soccer shoes uh kind of older but in really good condition i think these should sell for maybe like 30 35 bucks or so and then i picked up this remington men's shooting shirt it's like one of those like men's button down shirts that has like the, the quilted pad on the shoulder so you could when you shoot it like take some of the recoil for you uh it's a men's size large probably not worth a ton maybe like 20 bucks free shipping but i paid six dollars total for both of these things uh so i think that was decent again not really ending the day on a bang but I, at least we didn't buy nothing so it's a couple days later and i want to give you guys some updates on some stuff we picked up this past weekend so the red wing boots that i got at goodwill these are looking pretty good i cleaned them up a little bit with some just water to make sure there was no actual dirt on them and then i um kind of polished them up with some Doc Martens Wonder bo 
Balsam. I think it's Balsam. I always pronounce it incorrectly. But again, these are the Iris Setter boots. Uh, I didn't do the sandpaper thing on the toes. I think the scuffs are going to be okay. And in the current condition, I think these should sell for about $50 to $60 plus shipping. Maybe a little bit more, but I'm trying to be pretty conservative. So those were definitely a good pickup. Then I got the two York 20 pound dumbbells over here. I remember last year when I was trying to do some product research, trying to see what types of home workout equipment I should be on the lookout for. I remember seeing York, like vintage York dumbbells like that selling for hundreds of dollars. And although home workout equipment has decreased in value a little bit, especially going from 2020 to 2021, uh, sole comps on this set of dumbbells is still really good. You can see here, uh, there was one, just one 20 pound that sold for $40 plus shipping. There's another one that sold for $55 plus shipping. Um, that's a, that's two 10 pounds, York 10 pounds vintage right there that sold for a hundred bucks plus shipping. And I think, uh, yeah, there's one, yeah, two sets or a set of 20 that, uh, best offer accepted 159 99 plus shipping. Um, there's another one that sold for $84, but that was on auction. So sold comps are kind of all over the place, but I'm thinking that mine are in good enough condition where I could probably get about. I'd say maybe like $125 plus shipping, maybe $135 plus shipping. So definitely a great pickup considering we paid $15 for the whole lot. I kept those. Haley kept, I think, two of the 8-pound or 10-pound dumbbells for, her, for herself. And we had one random 15-pounder. Um, and then we had the plate weights and these things to go with the plate weights and one 8-pounder. But then I had a whole set as well. I had uh, just the regular cast iron hex dumbbells. We had two 20s. Two fifteens, two tens, two eights, two fives, and two threes, and I listed those on Facebook Marketplace as the whole set. Um, I listed them on regular Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks, and then I listed them in my neighborhood Facebook group for eighty. That I always try to give my neighbors like better deals, uh, and it's really nice because they live here and they could just come pick them up. And I obviously didn't want to pack all those dumbbells up and go meet somebody somewhere. So uh, a lady who lives, uh, I guess, one street over, messaged me pretty much immediately and said she would take them for eighty. So she came over. Sold all those for 80, so we've already made a profit of $65 since we paid 15 for all the dumbbells, and then we still have the Yorks, we still have all those down there as well. So that was a huge score at that estate sale, and I love that because that estate sale was pretty terrible. It was literally one like room, like one outdoor patio, but we found very, very profitable items there. I want to show you guys this um, thing of basketball cards I picked up. This is probably going to be the only one that I'm going to keep just because... I don't know, that's the only basketball player I know, really. Um, I have no idea what I have here. I don't know anything about basketball cards. I was just, I don't know, I like the Boy Scouts. I like that the kids are out there, you know, trying to to make some money. So I'm like, you know what, I'll give you 40 bucks for all of them. I mean, they, they're, they're probably, you know, one, two, three dollar cards. If I want to take the time to list them individually, I can. And they a lot of them come in these like hard sleeves. So I thought it was, I didn't think I'd be, I'd be losing money. You know, I didn't think there's going to be anything in here that's, super valuable but again i just want to help the kids out so 40 bucks for this whole box of cards i thought it was pretty cool at least at very least it'll give me something to go through if i ever get bored and then at that same boy scout yard sale i picked up this korg cr4 four track four track cassette tape recorder i've never seen anything like this before but it looks super cool and i was like you know i'll just I don't know what it's worth. I'll just ask them what they want for it. And if it's cheap enough, I'll just take a chance on it. I think I paid $10 for this. I didn't look up sold comps, but I did today, earlier this morning, and I am super surprised. So if you just search Korg CR4 on eBay, the only thing listed are the power supplies for like 30 bucks plus shipping. So I was like, yeah, I paid 10 bucks for it. The worst case scenario, it's not worth anything. And I can still almost, you know, a little bit more than double my money after fees on just the power cord, which came with it. Um, but then I went to filter to search for things that have already sold. And there's 10 sold comps, $185 plus shipping, another power cord, 27, another one, $250 plus $25 shipping, another one, $200 free shipping, 180 plus shipping. That was on auction, 121 plus shipping. I would never, I, I say I would never auction something like this off, but, but hear me out. In this scenario, I have proof that you know at least four have sold in the last 90 days and there's none available right now. So normally I would say I probably wouldn't auction something like this off, but it appears that the demand for this item is certainly higher than the supply. So maybe this would be a good item to auction off. Like if there was like 10 of these listed and only two sold, then I definitely wouldn't auction, auction off. But I mean, we've seen four sold so far 
There's five, $296, 140. I mean, it looks like there's been six that have sold in the last 90 days and none currently listed. So I don't know, drop a comment on this video and tell me what you think I should do. Do you think I should auction this off or do you think I should list it for like $2.99 plus shipping and just turn on best offer and see what will happen? It does work. I need a tape to like fully test it, but I plugged it in. The power button is back here somewhere. It lights up. You can, you can press the play button and see the thing turns. I can hear some static coming out of both speakers. There you go. It really kicked on just then. Um, so I'm super excited. I need to get a tape and fully test it, but this is a really, really cool machine. I'm not 100% sure what it does other than make me lots of money. All in all, it was a fantastic day of sourcing. I was a little disappointed in dream deals that day, but you know, like I said, you gotta take the good days with the bad. The thrift stores and the yard sales more than made up for it. And overall, we had a fun time and made tons of potential profit as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it at all, all I ask is that you take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free and really helps me out a ton. And if you haven't yet and you want more content like this, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one.